Welcome to our lesson on microscopy. The key questions for today are How have microscopy techniques developed over time? What are the two different types of microscope? How has electron microscopy increased our understanding of cells and their structures? What is resolution? How can you calculate the magnification? The key terms that you'll need to know are magnification, resolution, light microscope, electron microscope. Task. List five things that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. Microscopes have been used for a long time to view objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. This ranges from microorganisms, such as amoeba and bacteria, to dust particles, to cells and their subcellular structures. Images from microscopes have significantly developed our understanding of the world around us. As technology has developed, so has the microscope, producing more and more detailed images of smaller and smaller objects. These are two types of microscope that you need to learn about, the light microscope and the electron microscope. The light microscope is the type used in schools and many laboratories. It uses visible light and a series of lenses to magnify the object so that its structure can be seen. When something is magnified, it produces an image that is bigger than the original object so that smaller details can be seen. Light microscopes can be used to view any type of sample, including living things. Light microscopes can magnify an object by up to 1,500 times. This is relatively low magnification and the resolution of the image is approximately 200 nanometers. This is 2 times 10 to the power minus 7 metres. The resolution is the distance two points would need to be apart in order to be seen as two distinct points. The second type of microscope is an electron microscope. These use a beam of electrons instead of light to view a sample. However, in this case, the sample must be dried and placed in a vacuum chamber so cannot be a living thing. An electron microscope has a very high magnification, up to 500,000 times. The resolution of an electron microscope allows you to distinguish between points of approximately 0.1 nanometer apart. This means that electron microscopes have been used to find out much of what we know about cells and the organelles that they contain. Task. Compare the light and electron microscopes. Comment on the structure of the microscopes, the samples that can be viewed, and the magnification and resolution of images. An electron microscope is a much bigger device than a light microscope. It uses electron beams to view samples, whereas a light microscope uses visible light. A light microscope is much smaller and more portable. The samples viewed by a light microscope can be living, but those viewed with an electron microscope cannot. The images generated by an electron microscope are 3D and can give detail about the surface texture. The magnification of an electron microscope is much higher than a light microscope and the resolution is also much better. The magnification of a microscope can be calculated using the formula magnification equals size of image over size of real object. Answers may need to be given in standard form or include the prefixes nano, micro and milli. Task. On an image, a cell is shown to be 0.2 cm long. Its actual size is 1 nm. Calculate the magnification.
Extension. Suggest why organelles such as ribosomes cannot be seen with a light microscope. Some organelles are too small to be seen with a light microscope, so electron microscopes have played a very important part in showing us what is present inside a cell.